Hello guys, this is me Darkest Line and in this video I'm going to show you all how to quickly and easily overclock uh, your NVIDIA GTX 850M. Since it's a mobility card, uh, there's not a whole lot of options available for us guys to overclock this. And this, this method right here is a very quick and easy one, so I'm going to show it you all. Uh, sadly, it's only applicable to, for NVIDIA cards, so for ATI users, tough luck. So we're, so we're going to use NVIDIA Inspector uh, for tweaking our video card settings and I've placed a download link down in the descriptions. Make sure to check it out. So the reason I'm using NVIDIA Inspector as a tweaking tool because it's easy and it's less complicated. Actually there are other better options available out there but those options can prove to be difficult and complicated for novice users. And I'm trying to keep this video as simple and as easy as possible. So. In the beginning, we're gonna tweak our base clock offset. Uh, so take it up all the way to the 135 meter hertz and just leave it there. Now we're gonna do memory clock offset. So you all might want to pay some attention here because tweaking memory clock offset is what gives you that bump in the performance while playing. So the important thing you need to know about tweaking memory clock is finding the right frequency for tuning. Lucky for you, I found two. First here is 199 meter hertz and second is 250 meter hertz. Here in this video, I'm going to use uh, 250 meter hertz as an example. Uh, tweaking memory clock is like a trial and error. If you put too high or even too low according to your base clock, uh, they're going to occur some artifacts, some bugs, some glitches or black splotches on your screen while playing games. So it's very important that you find a proper frequency for tuning. Basically, 250 meter hertz is a pretty stable frequency, but in some rare cases, it happens that black artifacts starts occurring while playing. So at that time, I take it down to 199 meter hertz. And now we simply hit apply clocks and voltages and we're good to go. So what happened here is by tweaking our memory clock, we increased our bus width from 28.8 to 36.8. Now after you're done playing, simply hit apply default and just close the tool. So this is it, you have successfully overclocked your video card.
Translation of this word. 